Hi guys, so following on from my last video where I talked to you about my number one favorite lead magnet and what it can do for your business. Today, I wanted to talk about the three triggers that your lead magnet, your freebie or your opt-in must hit if you want it to be a success and to get you results. So if you haven't watched the first video, you'll find that in my Facebook newsfeed or you'll find it over in the Brand Attraction Method members Facebook group. So you can hop over and watch that one. So what are these three triggers and why are they super important? So number one, the number one job is to position your brand. Now, you might think that's a given, but there are lots of people putting content out there and putting multiple pieces of content out there that actually confuse their brand message and stop them becoming known for that one thing that they can help people with. So your lead magnet needs to do the job of positioning you because people are scrolling, they're looking for a solution to a problem and you need to be super clear with your message about what you do and why you. So that's the first thing. The next thing, it must be easy to consume. Now, you probably think that's a no-brainer, right? Like, don't make it difficult. But you'd be surprised at how many people make too many hoops that you've got to jump through before you get this piece of content or before you can take action on this piece of content. So make it super easy for people, not too many clicks to get there. And also the way in which that content is delivered. We are impatient beings as humans and we are distracted. So we want things to be super easy. I don't want to read a 70 page booklet to find the answer to something. So super quick, super easy. And then third, it needs to solve an immediate problem. So that problem has to be in the now for somebody. It has to be something that someone wants to solve right now, not something that, you know, they might put off into the future. There has to be that burning desire straight away to solve the problem. So when you're thinking about how you're going to position your brand, then how are you going to make that easy for people with the content? The third thing is, how does that solve a problem at the same time as reinforcing your brand positioning and your brand message? And then finally, and very importantly, it needs to create some kind of open loop. And what I mean by that is you have helped someone solve the first part of a problem, but then there needs to be a loop opened so that they need to know what is the next thing what is the next logical step? And the next logical step would be buying from you, working with you, um, trying out the next you know, product that you might have or taking that next step. So you know, you, you're not solving or boiling the ocean with this lead magnet or this free piece of content. You are solving one very specific painful problem and opening a loop to the next problem that they may they may have. So if you think about your business and your brand and the kind of overarching problem that you solve for people, you want to chunk that down with your lead magnet. So you want to think, you know, for example, I'm going to go with something really big. Say you help people start um, a part-time online business, right? So that's the big thing that you're helping people. And you're looking at, okay, so what's the very first problem that people might come across? when it comes to starting a part-time online business. Now, it could be the idea phase. It could be, I, I just don't have any idea of what to do. I know I want to do something, but I don't have an idea. So it could be something that helps them with that. And then, you know, you open a loop to the next problem when they've solved that little problem. And now you've got an idea. Now, what do you do? So you're positioning your brand by solving that problem. You're making it easy for them and you're opening a loop. Now, that is why, again, I'm going to talk about quizzes because I love them. That's why I really love quizzes because they do all of those things. You're taking people through a process of, first of all, you're positioning yourself as an authority. Then you are solving a problem, diagnosing a problem usually um, with your quiz, giving them some kind of quick win with a result and then opening a loop for them to take the next step with you. So those are the three things I want you to think about when you are creating your lead magnet. And if you're struggling creating something, 
boil it down to those really simple processes because sometimes we kind of make it far more complicated than we need to when it comes to creating something to put out there in the world or we put more emphasis on how you know how it's designed or how it looks and all those bits and bobs but really as humans we're out there looking for solutions so make it super easy for people I'd love to hear what you struggle with most when it's creating content or creating a lead magnet for your audience. So tell me in the comments below and I will be sure to answer you.